in today's vlog, I have with me my boy Kai from the US. So, <laughs> what's up, people? Yeah, what's up, man? Welcome to the vlog, bro. Hey, so, he's actually a friend and a subscriber. He's been watching the vlog from the US, but now he's here to experience Manila with me, travel with success. So, we're gonna bring you amazing contents from Manila and Chinatown today. So, uh, bro, what I mean, tell me, what's your YouTube channel? It is Live Your Life. TV. Okay, Live Your Life TV. So, ladies and gentlemen, check down in the description below and let's support Live Your Life TV because he has so much passion for the Philippines. He's been messaging me. He's been on my back. Like, he wants to come, but he couldn't come because of the pandemic, man. Pandemic, man. <laughs> three, almost three years I couldn't get back. So. so, right now you're in the Philippines. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. Okay, that's great. I'm mad that I have to go back home. For <laughs> when are you going back home, bro? Uh, Saturday, so oh, three Saturday. days Oh, Saturday. He has to fly back to the U.S. And tell me, man, uh, what do you think of the vlogs I do? Does it make impact out there? It does. It absolutely makes a difference. You may not feel like it's making a difference, but yeah. all your subscribers, they're subscribing for a reason. Okay. So, um, definitely one of the best new uh, channels on YouTube, and we definitely appreciate you. Thank you, man. I really appreciate the words, man. Like, this is a great motivation for me. And I promise to keep going. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlog. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button for your boy success. And check down in the description below. And smash that subscribe button for Live Your Life TV. If you want to see all of this, uh, his amazing content he did around the Philippines recently. So, tell us about your trip to the Philippines recently. Uh, I've been all over the place. Uh, okay. If you look at my content that I have, it's a mixture between travel, food, and I do. I help a lot of uh, people in need. Okay, that's um, good. I went to Ligon City. Okay. Uh, I've been to Cebu. Okay. Butuan. Okay. And back here to Manila. Manila. Okay. Um, I went out to the provinces because previously on my old uh, videos. I was helping a lot of people okay. and through a friend, um, but now I'm able to meet them in person. Okay. So I just wanted to be able to put a, them to be able to put a face to who was helping them. Okay. And uh, it definitely warmed my heart to see them. And um, you know, that's the reason why I was in the, out in the province, okay. but I'm back in my favorite city on earth. Welcome back to Manila. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's support Live Your Life TV and welcome to the vlog. Let's get started, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we are right here at the Intramuros Beyond the Bridge. So this is actually a very amazing project being done here by the, is it the Chinese government? That's the Chinese flag. Yeah, Chinese flag. Yeah, and that's also the Filipino flag right there on the other side. So it's actually called Binondo Intramuros Bridge. Yeah, so I was right <laughs> for the name. And I love the view right here of the river. So this is actually a very long, river here connecting to Pasig. Have you heard of Pasig before? Yeah. Okay, so this river is connecting to Pasig and uh, the last time I traveled here to Chinatown, I I use a boat here. Usually there's a boat on this water. I've it's seen, free. I've seen the little tours that they have. Yeah. And I've seen kind of like the before and after. Yeah. The Pasig River used to be That's the boat. Yeah, the boat, the boat is just there and it's actually free. Yeah, yeah it's free. Pasig River used to be notorious for being one of the dirtiest rivers in the world and they've done a, a really big cleanup job. So, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think I think on the other side it's, it's more cleaner than here because this place was not being used for a long time because it was constructing this bridge here. Yeah. Yeah. And you see the wildlife starting to come back, birds, yeah. fish swimming in it. So how's your, how's your experience in Manila since you came back? I love it. Um, I couldn't wait to come back. Um, okay. And I, that, love, I love Manila. Yeah. I could not wait to come back. This is my favorite city on earth. Yeah, I'm happy to have you on the vlog, man. Yeah, a lot of people don't like Manila for whatever reason, but to me, it's one of the most dynamic okay. cities on earth. 
you can find anything you want in Manila. Okay. Good, bad, in between. Um, That's I nice. love it. I could not wait to come back. And yeah. I want to thank you for keeping me going. <laughs> Yo, man. Back, man. For two years, I couldn't get back. And, yeah, due to the pandemic. Yeah, and watching your vlogs helped me get through it. So, appreciate you. I'm happy, man, to have you on the vlog here. And finally, see you here on um, Travel with Success, man. Yeah, man. Right now, we are walking in the Intramuros, uh, beyond the Intramuros Bridge. So, the construction of the bridge started uh, July 17th of 2018, and it was completed on April 5th of 2022. And the total cost of this bridge is about. 3.4 billion pesos. Wow. I don't know how much that's going to be in dollars. 84 billion, 84 million dollars. 84 million dollars. Wow. So this right here at my back is it's an 84 million dollars project, man, in the Philippines. I mean, it's unique, but I don't know much about construction, so <laughs> I'm not sure because 84 million dollars is not just, you know, something small, man. Yeah, it's not nothing you can just yeah. take out of your pocket. <laughs> We are heading to Chinatown to tour around a little bit in Manila. Here with my boy from the US, my boy from Illegal City. <laughs> so we just walk into Manila right now and I'm just enjoying the view from here. We are actually in Manila, but we just trying to walk to Chinatown because uh, I'm sure you really want to tour Chinatown. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Get something to eat. Okay. Starving. Yeah. So at first, uh, the guys told us that we are not allowed to walk here, bro. Right now, we have no choice, man. Because <laughs> the Tok Tok guy who brought us, he went back. So we have to walk, actually. And just be prepared for whatever. <laughs> so let's say hi to these guys here. They are the workers here on the bridge. What's up, man? How are you? Hey, bro. We appreciate you guys, man, for the work. So there are still people here working, constructing the bridge. Yo, man. <laughs> Hello, man. Hi. Hey, bro. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome to Manila. We are about to tour you around the oldest Chinatown in the world. So my, my boy Kai and I here, he traveled from the US to tour the oldest Chinatown in the world. And today we're gonna give you a good vibe from Chinatown, man. How do you feel, bro, to be here? I'm excited. I've been wanting to see this Chinatown for about three years. I okay. uh, couldn't because of the pandemic. But we're here now, we're about to do this. Okay, yeah, let's do this, bro. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at my back here. And this is the out here entering the oldest Chinatown in the world and it is situated right here in Binondo. You're planning to come to Manila, get ready for this man because there is always traffic. <laughs> How long did it take you from Makati to the immigration bro? About a half hour. Okay. That was a bit uh, fast. Now we're starting to see dragons because we are here in Chinatown. Don't be afraid, man. They're not real. Walking around the oldest Chinatown in the world. Right here with people travel with success and pretty good vibes from the beautiful city of Manila. So here in Chinatown, you have this little street everywhere you go. So there are a lot of ways and you might just get lost if you don't know the place or you don't know how to move around here. Just got to be careful. Yeah, and we are walking on this street right here. I don't know what it is called, but I'm in Chinatown. So 
so that's the most important thing. So we're starting to see some Chinese uh, shops, restaurants. There's also a Starbucks here. There's a Starbucks coffee right here. Most times, uh, Chinatown looks very beautiful when there's a festival. Uh, right now, it's actually a uh, normal uh, city, like everywhere in Manila. But there's still a difference because when you get to Chinatown, you know you're in Chinatown because of the, the dragons. You see the dragons everywhere on the street. So I think this is the only part of the Philippines or Manila you find dragons, like dragon's poles. So the light poles here are all uh, designed like a dragon. So the dragon is on the light pole and dragon have a light in the mouth. So at night is actually kind of beautiful as well. And Chinatown is also a busy, busy city, a busy place here in Manila. And oh, there's Anytime Fitness. There's also a gym on second floor of this building. There's Anytime Fitness. There are banks and everything you can get here. So right now walking around Chinatown and here iced tea this is the iced tea store right here oh check out this beautiful decor right here of this chinese shop it's kind of like a mini mall but it also looks also like a restaurant because i'm seeing like a menu right outside here and this is the street as you can hear in the background there are already like a chinese vibe music playing in the background and look at this tree right here so this place is uh, one famous Chinese street and as you can see here the decals here are all Chinese made stuff but they are actually very old right now because I think it was done a uh, few months back during the Chinese New Year yeah and car is just here getting some shots of Manila and also this way here this tree is extended from here. It's umping. I don't know umping. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it the right way. And you also have this uh, street food vendors right here. So the street food guy is right here in Chinatown. Okay. Like, yeah. What's that? Baseball. Uh, squid ball. S squid ball. How do you eat it? Squid ball. Can I see your sample? Okay. All right. Squid ball. Oh, okay. very tasty. Okay, very yummy. Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. Yummy. So one thing to do in Manila here is to try the bugo. This is the bugo juice, right? What bugo juice, right? Okay. One more, yeah. Gotta get one more, guys. Gonna get one more. Cheers, man. Hey, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sarap. What's the rap?
So, ladies and gentlemen, I have two cups of Google juice for 20 pesos here in Manila. So, here, Kuya. So, good, Kuya. All right, good morning, guys. So, today is another day, and it's gonna be an amazing day. So, yesterday we were at uh, Manila, so we tour around in Chinatown and you know, other places nearby. But today we are here at Okada, Manila. But I have to end this vlog right now. Car is actually outside waiting for me, so he's been here actually before me. And we're gonna tour a little bit of Okada and then go to Moravija and then BGC today because he's returning back to the US by Saturday, yeah, which is tomorrow. So today is Friday, he's going back to the US tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button just before you go and we have to stop this vlog and jump right into a new vlog. So thanks for watching this video and thanks for all the support. I love you guys and peace. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for the Okada tour. So we'll be dropping the Okada tour and that of Mall of Asia and also BGC. So he came from the US. So he, he actually been watching all of my videos before. So he came from the US and he wants to, you know, have the same experiences. So I've actually been here. Today is not my first day. So I'm not gonna lie to you. Today is not my first day, but I, I'm gonna bring you a new vibe and more amazing vibe from here today. Yeah, stay tuned because I'm gonna be touring uh, my friend from the US in Okada. And I love you guys. Thanks for always supporting. It's your boss success. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.